Gospel goodies. Gospel goodies. This is gospel goodies. Can you walk us through the process of how you guys started um, Soul Sessions? Well, Soul Sessions was a vision that um, I got about a year ago. And um, the Lord just said, by any means necessary. And I took that approach and I reached out to a, a mutual friend of ours, Wardell Malloy, and Wardell said that Sean Gibbs was the person that I needed to connect with to make my vision a reality. And so the process is really just taking the Love Fellowship approach from many years ago, and Pastor Walker said, by any means necessary. And you know, the, the reality of this is that not everybody goes to the tabernacle, so we, we are bringing the tabernacle to them. And that's what the platform of, of Soul Sessions is, is to create the, the, the platform for the believer that doesn't necessarily get up on a Sunday morning and go to the tabernacle, but we're bringing the tabernacle to them in the familiar place that you know, is comfortable for them. Nice, don't you love it, guys? That's what I love most about these types of events. So how do you guys pick the artists? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, not so much of a tedious process because um, we already know in our heart and God kind of drops it in our heart like the theme and where we're going at spiritually. And once we find that theme, it just like, it just connects where we find the artist. So it's not so much like, we, there is some artist submission, but it's just God placed it right there and said, you know what, this person and the doors opens and everything connect like again with having uh, Pastor L. Spencer Smith, like the doors and the timing was just right, that he was available and he said, I want to be a part. Uh, the same thing with Pastor Charles Jenkins. It was, you know, the timing was right and he was like, you know what, I heard about, you know, your first uh, soul session event. I want to be a part of that, you know what I'm saying? So it's just really just having the favor of God. Um, it's about me and Shalik and how we conduct ourselves uh, in terms of integrity, you know, in terms of our gifts, you know what I'm saying? We have our gifts that God has opened up doors for us to do what we do and do what we love but then we also miss uh blend that with our integrity and it just opens up doors you know what i'm saying it opens like a plethora of doors with the artists with the labels with the record companies with the radio station to say that you know what we want to be a part of soul session so I, like you know really the glory doesn't belong to me doesn't belong to Shalik. it really belongs to god because it's it's, it's it's because of him that these doors are opening and i'm grateful so that really is a part uh, the artist process or the song or the group selection process is God. You know what I mean? He just he ordains and he orchestrates everything for us to do on each uh, on on each show. And SOBs is a pretty legendary stage. Yeah, legendary. <laughs> Tell us about why you guys chose this stage. I am the events director here at SOBs, and like I said, it was you know I've been here now, going on my position for a year and a half in my position, but I've worked here many years, traveling with uh, my clients as a stylist. And so when the Lord afforded me the opportunity to you know sit in the position that in which I currently sit, I knew that it just wasn't because of you know, convenience. It was a platform and an opportunity that he was giving me to create something that was bigger than me. And so to stand here and to, and to be a part of the history, which is 33 years that SOBs has been in existence, every day when I walk into these doors, it is a humbling experience because I do not only, you know, soul sessions here, but every event that, that happens here, I am a part of in some way. And I'm just grateful to be a part of it every day. And to kind of tag on to that, you know what I'm saying, for the owner of Social, um, the owner of, of, of SOBs, Larry, Larry Golden, his Golden. boss, I mean, just for him to embrace gospel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, for this to be a legendary R&B, pop, rock venue, and just to, um, to embrace gospel the way they have, I mean, it's like no holds bar, it's no requirements and no restriction, or we're not censored, like, hey, you guys, I trust you guys, go out there, rock out, just, you know, be a blessing, and I, I take that as a blessing, you know what I'm saying, that we're able to come into this venue and really display Christ, you know, to the world, because the world is dying, and people are hurt, and people are sad, and people are, like, burdened and heavy laden, and they just need something, they need some, some level of inspiration, so to bring that into this environment that set the tone for the rest of the week, you know what, I think it's a blessing. So it's, 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 Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. So it's it's, it's a blessing. So I'm I'm appreciative, Larry Gold. You know what I'm saying for Jizz and Robin. I'm just appreciative to them that they allow us to come into their house and present Jesus. What's yeah. one thing you guys want people to take away from this whole event? Um, people watching on GospelGoodies.com and from people actually here tonight. Uh, for me, it's just to walk away feeling inspired. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what people went through last week. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been hurt, despair, 
um, you know, economics in, in New York City is like skyrocketing. People can't find homes. People are being pushed out of their homes uh, because of economics and gentrification. So I want people to come in and say, you know what? Oh my God, you know what? I felt inspired. I got enough strength to get through next week. You know what I'm saying? I got enough strength to, you know, get through it. I don't have a job, but I believe that God's gonna open up a door for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something that they heard, uh, some song that just kind of just touched them and ministered to them. So that's what I want them to walk away. I really want them to walk away being inspired, feeling inspired, feeling determined, feeling that they can go on, you know what I'm saying? And feeling that, you know, God got their back and because God is the greatest power, they're not gonna be defeated, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I wanna say for me, I, I think the name says it all. Soul Sessions, when I created that name, it is exactly what I wanted it to be. I wanted your soul to come and have a session. You know, you can go anywhere, you can go to the club and you can have a good, you can turn up, you can do everything, but every now and then your soul needs a session. And so ultimately that is exactly what I want to be when every person leaves this room. I want your soul to have been enriched and enlightened and inspired and enriched with just the power of what the God's spell is. And you know, just music. Music has, is, it just has this power to change the atmosphere. And I believe that that is what it is tonight, to just change the atmosphere. And whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever the session is for you tonight, take that, take that message with you on tonight.